So whenever you all are ready, can you tell me about what you built? Yeah, so we did an auditory like maze game. So there's nothing to look at, but it's all like with the headphones um, and it's like using spatial audio. So um, you're like in a house and doing like a murder mystery and there'll be like voices around you and you have to like figure out like which one you want to listen to. So there's six people in the house. You can listen to like someone on the left, someone on the right. And if you use the joystick right here, you can like select like, do I want to listen to the one on the right? And if you move it to the right, then that voice will be louder and you can hear what they're saying. Okay. And the other voice will be quieter, but you can still kind of hear it. And then you could always switch to the other one if you want. So it's essentially like you're turning towards that person to hear them talk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, there's like three different scenes. So three different rooms that you get to walk into. And then you get to figure out what you think happened to, <laughs> okay. to the um, Mrs. Hopper is cool. the character's name. Awesome. Yeah. So okay. maybe we should we should just try it and then we can. Okay. Talk about Sounds it. good. Um, just, you can sit right away. Yeah. So and I'll put we'll, these on. To, sure, you can hold that. And, and is it left ear with the microphone? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then we'll overlay the audio. And which which orientation do I hold this in? It's like that. Yeah. Like so that. this is yeah. the right and oh, this yeah. left. But the beginning, you'll want to just listen, and yeah. it'll tell you the instructions. Okay. <laughs> do you want? Do you want to okay, press them at the same time? Okay. Welcome, Welcome to, to Anne, Amy, Amy, and Junjun's ECC forty-seven sixty final project. project. This, this is, is an interactive, interactive auditory, auditory maze, maze game, game where you, where you will be taken through, through a series, series of, rooms of rooms to investigate, investigate a, murder a murder mystery. mystery. Using, Using only, only the joystick, the joystick and, and your ears. ears you will, you will have, have the, option the option to listen, to listen in, in on different, different conversations, conversations out of the six, six people in the house. After, After you must determine, determine who in the house, house is responsible for the murder. murder. Now, now, here are, here are some, some basic, basic rules. rules. When you, when you walk, walk into, into each room, you will hear two muffled, muffled conversations, conversations and must and choose, choose only one to listen, listen in on. In order, in order to turn your attention towards the sound, move the joystick in the direction of the voice to amplify that direction only. If you, if don't, you don't move the joystick, move the joystick you, won't you won't be able, be able to, to properly catch either conversation. Either conversation. So make, so make your, your decision, decision quickly. quickly. Now, now close, close your eyes, get your, get your investigation, investigation hat on, and get, and your, get joystick your joystick ready. ready. Someone, come quick! It's Mrs. Hopper. She's been poisoned. Hello, officer. It's my mom. She's been poisoned. Oh no, this is horrible. How could this have happened? Yes, officer. I can surely tell you more about the situation. I'm just the maid. I should have been there. They're all gonna think it was me. What did I do this morning? Right. So I woke up well, this morning I served early. Mrs. Hopper tea as usual. Like she woke up late, then, but was in high spirits this morning, as fit tea. as a fiddle. And she seemed well. We spoke a bit, and Mrs. This, Hopper mentioned maid, a new shipment of honey, tea. jams, and vinaigrettes that was supposed tea, to arrive. Oh, and her son Ethan Mom joined as well for tea. He doesn't like honey, but I made sure to make Mrs. Hopper her favorite like lemon ginger tea, tea with extra honey. honey. Honey yep, and then, the and then I left cup. them to chat while I did the laundry. That's it. I've been folding clothes ever since, and when I went back upstairs, that's when I saw Mrs. Hopper lying on the ground. Francis, he's the gardener. Maybe he saw something while fixing the light this morning. He's in the drawing room over there, to the left. Or Mrs. Hopper's daughter, Clara. Clara. She's, She's working, working on a painting, painting to the right. right. Ooh, look how beautiful! Just the way this light catches my painting. How wonderful. So many doors to oil, lights to fix. Great, now the lady in the house has been poisoned. Mother would have loved to see this. Once I figure out who's responsible... Sure, I can tell you about my morning. I arrived at the house at 8 a.m., bright and early. Mrs. Hopper, she's a kind woman. I'm always happy to spend the weekends at the house. I started my morning rounds, checking the tulips in the back. Mrs. Hopper wasn't awake yet, so I started oiling the doors like she asked me yesterday. Honest to God, I haven't seen Mrs. Hopper all morning. Oh yeah, I noticed a light had gone out in the drawing room, and I fixed that as well. Now, where did I put that lithium oil? I swear I had it in a small bottle on the drawing room table just this morning. Oh look, there's Mr. Hopper. He's the head of the house. Over there, in the drawing room, to the left. He ought to know what could have happened to his wife. Or Sydney, the chef? She's clearing the table in the back, to the right. She's 
<clears throat> Once I get to the bottom of this, someone will pay for what they did to my wife. No, no, this cannot be. I have not served Mrs. Hopper since brunch yesterday. And she was out all night and well this morning. It has to be someone in this house. Let me think. I saw my wife this morning. We spoke. There was nothing out of the ordinary this morning. I, I have been cleaning and reorganizing the kitchen all day. Oh, yes. I did run into Madame Hopper in the hallway upstairs. So I went she was in high spirits and mentioned that we should be expecting guests Sydney this afternoon. That she should clear up all you know what I think? It must have been that maid, she Liz. She's always messing with the food then in this house and takes the things from the kitchen without putting them back. Once I figure out who's responsible like, what was that random bowl of honey doing in the drawing room? In this town, ever again. So it should be done. I think it's done now. That is so cool. Yeah, did, could you hear it out of all the Yes, yeah. yeah, and the, uh, it was very clearly coming from left versus right, and then toggling. It sounded as if that person was directly in front of me. Mm. I gotta be honest, I was a little too distracted by the technology to pay much attention to this. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can, we could also listen to it again. I mean, but like, yeah. the spatial audio is really... So, so can you, can you describe technically how the spatial audio works how is it that you make a sound like sound like it's coming from one direction or another direction yeah so we did like or do you want to explain okay so we did um like phase and amplitude modulation between the two ears so like the left and the right ear we had what the um if it's coming from the right side you want that one to be slightly louder and that one to have a phase that's slightly ahead and then the one on the other side would be delayed and then also have a smaller amplitude so there's like and a, uh, like a really basic equation using like sine and cosine sure. that we like found online. And then that was like the amount that we wanted to delay it by based on like the angle. So like if it's like 45 degrees, like it would be like you plug it into that formula and it'll give you like the time delay and the amplitude delay. So then that's how like we did the left and right ear for like one noise. But then um, with like two inputs, we had like the two audio jacks here. And then I have like a script for like the left ear. Like so everything that was like louder on the left side mm -hmm. comes from this computer everything that's louder on the right side comes from this computer but then they both go to both ears okay. so then they're both like spatial spatialized okay so the right audio goes to the core zero and the left one goes to core one both yeah turn on okay so you have two audio inputs and one audio output mm -hmm. and you're combining those two audio inputs into a single output in order to spatialize where it sounds like each of the two inputs is coming from. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, like the output's technically two outputs, so it's left and right. Sure. So okay. they kind of both cross. Both. Yeah. Gotcha. Really cool. It's such an it's such a cool premise for a spatial audio project. Yeah. And so the the um, joystick actually we only use the X direction because we ran out of um, the ADC, the ADC input. So okay. like that's why like we made a lot simpler like before a few weeks ago we had like um like five directions and then you can like pick which direction you want and stuff okay. but like then with this it, this is more for the game aspect yeah than like the actual like tech aspect i feel like but we did we did it with beefs before which is actually like a lot more code like we were taking out yeah. like yeah. the code yeah yeah <laughs> yeah which is funny how about oh, did you write the story yeah you did you really i recorded it over <laughs> like thanksgiving and i, I like used tiktok so i like i spoke everything and then i did the voice effects oh over my it. gosh that's so cool <laughs> yeah it's funny um, i had to like try to make it sound natural because some of them were very robotic so i was like trying to play around with like the voices that is yeah. so cool <laughs> No. Really, really nicely done. No. Um, anything else you want to mention about it? Okay, cool. Thank you guys. That's really cool.